This is a tutorial on how to create a seating chart with your students' faces, which is a great uh, tool for substitutes and during COVID and all those good things. So I'm in Canva, and if you don't have a Canva account, you can get an, a pro account as an educator for free. So I'm going to go to create a design. I'm going to choose presentation. That's just my personal preference. It doesn't have to be presentation, but I think it's the easiest. So from here, you can choose any background you want. Let's choose this one. It's pretty. And then you're going to go to elements. And so let's say that you want to do desk. So there's all these different options. You can pop a desk in here. So you could do it that way if you want. You could also use shapes. So if you want rectangle, let's say there's all these fancy ones. You can also, you know, you can make it as fancy as you want, basically. So let's just for funsies do this one. So what you would do is however you want to set your room up, you can, you know, copy paste just the way you do and everything else. But then here's how you want to do it for to get their pictures in. Now you can just import pictures and just slap them on there. But I think it's really fun. If you go to elements and you go to frames, you can choose all these different frame shapes. Some fun ones. And the kids love these. So let's say we want to do this one. So... There's all, I mean, literally, there's so many you can just choose. And I was confused about this at first. The picture that you choose is going to go in that frame. So I know that seems obvious, but it was not obvious to me. Okay, so if you want to add a bunch of different, and I would probably put it on top of your rectangle. So like you're showing where they're sitting, like if this is a flexible seating, you know, Let's say you could even do, you know, you could even do their letters with their faces, although I don't think that's going to work super great. So here's how you add the picture. I've already uploaded some pictures, but you would have to take the picture. I find it easy if you have Canva like on your phone or on your iPad and you snap the picture through Canva and you can do that right here. And when you do it on a mobile device, it'll say take picture. So that's what you want. But let's go ahead and just say we'll take this picture of me. So all you have to do is you drag it and you see right here, it, and then there you go. It's in the frame for you. Hope that helps.